Making a hair rig is really easy. Take your chosen hook link, cut off a section and put it through your stripper tool. You probably want to take off about five or six inches of coating. Once you've stripped off a section, you want to make a small overhand loop in the end. This can be a bit fiddly, but with a bit of practice, you'll nail it. Pass the tag in back through the little loop that you've made and pull it tight. Once you've made your loop, take your braid scissors and just snip off your tag end. The next thing we're going to do is take our chosen hook bait. It's important to use your hook bait to make sure that when you make your hair, it's the right length off the back of the shank of the hook. Using a baiting needle, pop it through your bait. And then what we're going to do is using the little loop that you just created, pull it through onto the hair itself. Now grab yourself a bait stop, and what we're going to do is feed that through the small eye in the end of your hair. Once it's through, grab your hook length and just snug it down nice and tight. Grab your chosen hook, get the end of your hook link and feed it through the back of the eye towards the pointy sharp end. The baited hair allows us to make sure that we can gauge the length of the hair correctly. I like to have mine just a couple of mil off the bottom of the hook as you can see in the video. Now we're going to start the whipping process. Take it nice and slow. I like to go around seven or eight times, making sure the wraps are nice and tight and close to each other. When you're done whipping, grab your hook length and pop it back through the eye of the hook. Again, you always want to make sure that you're going towards the pointy end. So our hair rig is really now starting to take shape. We've got a couple of finishing touches to make the rig ready to use. Now grab yourself an anti-tangle sleeve and we're gonna pass our hook link through the anti-tangle sleeve from the pointy end. For now, you can just slide it right down so it's out of the way. I make my hair rigs about seven or eight inches long and I use a figure of eight knot. To do this, make a small loop, pinch and twist anti-clockwise 180 degrees and then feed the tag end back through. Now you can see why it's called a figure of eight knot. It's really important when you make your knots to make sure that you moisten them down. Use some saliva, grab yourself some knot pullers and give that rig a good snug up. Now you can snip off your tag end. Now you can slide your anti-tangle sleeve back up your hook link and you're done. That is a basic hair rig made in just a couple of minutes with minimal effort and that will catch your fish all day long. If you found this video helpful, please double tap the screen, add it to your favorites and don't forget to hit follow.